Determine if the points lie in a straight line A242, B37, negative 2, and C133. For the lines to be in a straight line, think of it A, B, and C. The length of A and B plus the length of, so A and B and plus the length of B and C should equal the length of AC. So we need to find the lengths of all three of those, A, B, B, C, and A, C. So, we take A minus B, 2 minus 3, take the, the x value, 2 minus 3 squared plus 2, or 4 minus 7 squared plus 2 plus 2 squared, and for B, C, do 3 minus 1, 3 minus 1 squared plus 7 minus 3 squared plus 2, negative 2 minus 3 squared. For AC, 2 minus 1 squared plus 4 minus 3 squared plus 2 minus 3 squared. So this will give you negative 1 squared plus 3, negative 3 squared plus 4 squared and 2 squared plus negative 4 squared plus negative 5 squared plus 1, 1 squared plus 1 squared plus 1 squared. Take the square root of all those again. And this will be 2 plus 9 plus 16, this will be 4 plus 16 plus 25, this will be 3. I'm getting those 16, okay I just realized negative 1 squared should be 1 and not 2, so this will equal the square root of 26, uh, 25, 36, it's going to be 40, and square root of 3. And to check if they do lie in a straight line, we'll take, since 40 is our biggest value, it will be our C, and then these can be our or A, C, because it is the longest length. So, and then 26 and 3 are interchangeable. So, we can still do A, B, plus, we'll do A, C, and that should equal B, C. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And so we got square root of 26 plus square root of 3. And that does not equal the square root of 40. So these three points don't lie in a straight line.